Hi, this is Steve with ShopDiceSub.com and InkMiser.com. We have here a uh, refillable ink cartridge that holds approximately 120 milliliter. Uh, this particular cartridge is the yellow cartridge that fits into the Epson Workforce Pro uh, WP4020, 4530, 4540, and the 676 XL. We're just going to go ahead and do a quick demonstration to show how simple this cartridge is to refill. The first thing we're going to do is we're just going to pull the fill plug out. I have a syringe already filled with um, approximately 70 milliliters. Uh, you can see this is the ink where I pulled it out of the bottle here. And we're just going to go ahead and inject the ink into the back of the cartridge right here. And I am not going to fill the cartridge all the way up just for the sake of speed and not making a long drawn out video to show you how simple this cartridge can be refilled and the initial priming process of how to uh, prime the cartridge before installation. Okay, so we have this partially filled. We're going to put the main plug back in again. We're going to pull this air vent plug out right here and that air vent plug has to be left out once you insert it into the printer. We're going to take the syringe tip off of here and then you'll notice that there's a little rubber plug right here in the cartridge. We're going to pull that plug out. That's the priming port and we're going to insert the tip of the syringe in right here like that and then you'll be able to see how this maze system will start to fill up with ink as I draw back on the plunger. It went so fast you didn't even hardly see it go. It went so, And you can see right here this is the micro screen where the ink flows through and as soon as we get some ink flow into the syringe we know it is fully primed and ready to be installed into the printer and we'll go ahead and put that little rubber plug back in again right here that has to be placed back into the cartridge for the cartridge to work properly this cartridge is now ready to go we're going to leave the air vent plug out once it's installed in the machine otherwise you'll create a vacuum and the printer simply will not work when you try to draw a vacuum on the cartridge so this has to stay out and this cartridge is now half full and so all told it will hold approximately 120 milliliters of ink or the equivalent of a four ounce bottle it comes with auto reset chips these two little gold contacts that you see right here uh, in order to reset the cartridge you're going to simply take a paper clip and you're going to short out the two gold contacts for five seconds that resets the chip back to full and then the chip will then indicate that the cartridge is refilled you'll do that each time you refill the cartridge and you can purchase these at shopdiceup.com as well as inkmiser.com and um, this is a very very cost efficient way to print uh, you'll find that the cost to print this way is probably going to run you approximately one twentieth uh, to one-tenth of the cost of purchasing Epson ink cartridges. Again, you can purchase these at inkmiser.com as well as shopdiesub.com and uh, look us up and give us a try. Appreciate your, your time viewing the video. Thank you. Bye-bye.